Samyang have been making lenses for 50 years now and to celebrate their half century anniversary they have released this new updated version of their 50mm lens for Sony E-mount cameras. This AF autofocusing 50mm f1.4 FE Mark II. This is one of the new breed of lenses coming from Samyang right now. Premium quality and costing slightly less than what all of their competition has got on offer right now. Is this the 50mm worth buying for your Sony camera? Stick around, don't skip and I'll hopefully answer this question in this video. I have always been a huge fan of 50mm lenses. 50mm is my favorite focal length, one that I feel the most comfortable to shoot pretty much everything with. There's few 50mm options available for Sony E right now, but if you are looking for a premium quality ultra-wide aperture of f1.4 that doesn't cost arm and a leg, this could really be it. This lens is good. It delivers really premium results across the board. The autofocus works superbly and the sharpness it delivers is really impressive. There is just something really nice about the images captured with it. Very punchy and vibrant. Optically it is very decent. There is some chromatic aberration visible. Chromatic aberration is the color purple, orange or green fringing, but way below average. It is visible when shooting towards bright light sources but not really worth even fixing it uh, fixing it in post most of the time a little bit soft in the corners wide open but doesn't really matter in real world situations whenever will you be shooting at the f1.4 wide open aperture and position anything of importance right in the corner of the frame the answer is Never. Probably never. <laughs> this lens behaves very similar to any other wide aperture prime in this price range. Not unusual and totally normal in my opinion. A bit soft in the corners around the edges. Flaring is very well under control here. Certainly it's not causing any ghosting or unwanted glare when shooting with this lens towards the sun or bright light sources. The sharpness where it matters is very good and combining it with that wide aperture of f1.4 cr creates superb subject to background separation and bokeh. The bokeh is really creamy and smooth. A little bit safe in my opinion personal preference and I personally love the swirliness some lenses create. This is very nice but it lacks like something extra that very often gives specific lenses unique character. Yeah here the bokeh is clean and safe. Doesn't mean it's bad it's just clean and safe. Minimum focusing distance of only 40 centimeters, slightly shorter than average with 50 millimeter lenses. That makes it a little bit better and easier at getting closer to your subject for close-up photography. For video, autofocus works totally silently and very well. A lens that is very capable of delivering very good results. Focal length, size, weight, wide aperture, all those things make it a superb lens for run and gun scenarios, gimbal work and a lens that you can trust. There's almost zero focus breathing visible in there. Focus breathing is when you change your focus from something close to further away. It feels like your lens is zooming in. This doesn't do it at all. Well, almost not at all. Overall, one of the best auto-focusing 50mm lenses to combine with any of the modern full-frame alpha cameras. Build quality. This 50mm has got the new Samyang look, matching the 24, 70, 135 and 35mm lenses in their catalogue. No more external red ring like on all previous Samyangs, it is subtle now and a little bit hidden on that front edge, really nice touch. The focus ring has also got this new crisscross pattern, very similar to Canon RF lenses. Talking about the focus ring, it has got just right amount of resistance and firmness to it. The filter thread is 72mm. 
only one switch and one button on the lens. Focus hold button uh, that can be programmed to different functions via the camera. I always use this to switch which I left or right the camera focuses on personal preferences. The single switch is a bit unique to Samyang. It is not standard auto manual focus switch. It is a custom switch with M1 and 2 positions. By default in M1 position this enables the focus ring to do manual focusing, but in M2 position this turns the focus ring to manual aperture ring. Silent as well so it can be used while filming. This switch can be programmed to do other functions as well like standard auto manual focus switch, but you'd have to buy an additional Samyang lens dock to customize it. The lens is a very decent size, not really the size to call it a nifty 50, but nearly. This weighs only 420 gram. Very good for a wide aperture prime like this. I think it is the smallest and the lightest f1.4 50mm lens on the market right now, for Sony anyway. There's no image stabilization built in, normal with all 50 millimeters uh, lenses and the lens is fully weather sealed. Value for money, the cheapest auto focusing 50 millimeter f1.4 for Sony cameras. It retails for 599 pounds here in UK or 699 dollars in US. Cheaper than really old now and huge Sigma and half price of the Sony Zeiss 50 millimeter. It's a lens that can give Sony lenses room for their money, for sure. Well built, light and delivering very good results and being cheaper than all the competition, it is a very good value for money. Conclusion, I would have no problem shooting with this 50mm professionally today. A lens that can, it does deliver really good photos and video and a lens that is built very well. It's not perfect optically almost perfect. If you want perfect, you could go for Sony 50mm f1.2 G Master, but that costs four times more than this. This is a more than 50mm that wouldn't be out of place on A1. Certainly a perfect match for A7 III, A7 IV or A7 S III. It's a lens that ticks a lot of boxes and I'm sure because of its competitive price it will be very popular. Samyang are really going in the right direction with these new lenses. They are, including this one, really up there with Sony own lenses. I really like it and I highly recommend it. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way informative or entertaining. If it was, please give me the thumbs up. Please follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Samyang have been making lenses for 50 years now and I'm gonna stop this because the mic is not in the right place. I have always been a huge fan of... I have always been a huge fan of 50 mm <laughs> No more external red... 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 red...